Hi, my name is Lark and I'm from Change is Simple. Welcome to our Sustainability and Climate Innovation Learning Lab skill. Here, you are looking at our simulated ice core model. If you've ever wondered how scientists know that climate change is real and why it's happening, this ice core exhibit will help. Think of an ice core like the rings of a tree. Tree rings hold information about the tree's age, growth, and environmental factors over time. These rings can tell scientists a bit about what the environment was like at that point in the tree's life, such as the occurrence of a drought or an infestation. Ice cores come from deep within glaciers. Scientists hike out onto the glaciers, drill down into the ice, and pull out the core sample. The layers are clearly delineated due to seasonal patterns, while also containing environmental data, from levels of pollutants to gases in the air. And even if there was a significant event like a volcanic eruption, ice cores can tell us a lot about our planet's history. So how does this all relate back to climate change? Thanks to these ice cores, scientists have discovered that for most of our planet's history, our atmospheric carbon dioxide and methane levels remained at 280 parts per million and 700 parts per billion. But things changed dramatically at a certain point in our history. Can you guess what may have happened? If you guessed the Industrial Revolution, you're correct. The Industrial Revolution was a pinnacle of human innovation, but it rapidly resulted in the mining and burning of fossil fuels on a very large scale. At this point, ice cores show us how greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane levels rose exponentially. Our population began to rapidly grow with an influx of medical, transportation, housing, and technological advancements. While many of these advancements were helpful, it did cause a lot more of these greenhouse gases to be hanging around in our atmosphere. As industrialization took off, we also began to cut down forests for all of these innovations. This influx in greenhouse gases combined with large scale loss of vegetation resulted in a positive feedback loop that's still in play today. Billions of tons of greenhouse gases continue to be released. Heat continues to get trapped around our planet and our melting glaciers continue to raise our sea levels, change our ocean currents and therefore change our climate. All of these atmospheric changes cause more extremes in our weather too, including the frequency and intensity of storms. Thanks for stopping by Skill. We hope you learned some new things today in our lab and continue to learn and share this knowledge as we all work towards a cleaner future for our planet and its people. Interested in learning more ways to help? Check out our website at changesimple.org slash inside-skill for additional resources. See you around.